Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a full face one palette video. If you haven't seen these before here on YouTube, it's basically where I'm gonna take one palette, which is an eyeshadow palette. This is my Marc Jacobs Scandalous eyeshadow palette and I'm going to do my full face with it. That's bronzer, blush, eyeshadow, liner, brows, things like that. So I am going to use like a primer um, but for the most part, primer and I'm going to put on some BB cream, but for the most part, I will be just diving into these shades. So this is my Pan That Palette that I am using this year. Pan That Palette is when you pick out a palette and you want to finish up all the eyeshadows. So this is a great way if you are trying to use up some eyeshadows, you can use it in kind of different areas than what you were to think of just your eyes. You can use it as a blush bronzer, brows, lip product, things like that. So let's get into it. I am, like I said, going to use some primer, but I thought this would be fun and a good way to kind of feel like a human right now with everything going on, you know what I mean? So I definitely was um, starting to fall into the like, wear your pajamas, not get ready, but I feel much better when I do my hair, get ready, film a video, things like that. So that is kind of my normal and one I want to keep doing. So I'm going to continue to do that. So I am going in with Hot Pants, which is that all over cream shade. And just kind of doing my normal eyeshadow look that I've been doing with this palette. And then we'll go on to how to use these shades in other aspects of your makeup routine. But I love to apply like a cream or a white all over the eye just to kind of give a nice base. I'm gonna go in with that next shade, which is at the office, that light kind of neutral brown. Do that in the crease real quick. But I hope all y'all are hanging in there and they're staying safe and healthy. I feel like we're starting to enter the crazy part of this so make sure you're stocked up and you are ready to kind of just hang out at home be sure to like video conference your friends and family it's important for your mind and emotions at least mine so I recommend y'all do that I'm gonna go in now with this next shade right here which is cause the fuss and I like to apply that all over the lid and I am looking at my mirror in case y'all are wondering what it is far off over here that I'm looking at my son is turning two tomorrow we ended up canceling his birthday party we'll hopefully have it on the other end of this we'll do like a I survived the coronavirus Jackson birthday party I went in now with this shade right here. They call me, they call her that like bronzy shade for the other half of the eye, just to give some dimension. So what I like to do now at this point is blend everything together. So I was disappointed, but he's so young. He has no idea his birthday got canceled. We're still gonna celebrate with family gonna get some hate but our the grandparents are gonna come so hopefully everyone is not like gets infected or is infected who knows wow that like got really red under my eyes that fallout Let's go in with this dark shade right here which is called little Myth. I really like doing this as well, using that hot pink shade and putting it in your crease. And then go back in with this light shade and just top it right in the middle to kind of brighten the eye up. So since this is a full face one palette, I'm gonna go in with my liner brush and that dark brown eyeshadow right here and kind of do it as a 
shadow liner. Another brush you can use that's really good are these kind of like eyebrow brushes that are kind of angled. You can see they're angled. So those are really good to use as well. I'm just using the brush that's already kind of dirty right now and just going along the lash line. Look, like I have like a freaking orange eye. Now I don't have a trick for like mascara, so we're just going to curl the lashes and just use whatever mascara that you have. Okay, so I'm going now in with my Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream and applying that all over. And then another product I am using is a concealer. I use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I'm just gonna apply that on my under eyes, any various redness or coverage that I would like. So real quick, I am going to put on a Ooh, that broke. Translucent powder to just kind of set all this before I get any eyeshadow on. So going back into the Marc Jacobs palette. Um, like you can see, there are some different shades of brown. So I'm going to go in with this light medium brown shade as my bronzer. And that shade is called That's Why, and just lightly. So it's a bronzer. I also like to take my bronzer a little bit down the neck as well. Oh, a little patch right there. Just kind of go around the face. And then we're gonna go in with the pink shade Scandalous. Use that as a blush. And then with that light shade, that first shade that I used all over, I'm gonna use that as my highlight. So for my brows, I'm gonna use that dark brown shade right there. That's called Little Miss. I'm just gonna kind of sweep that into the brows, just kind of fill in any bare spots that I may have. You could definitely use the lighter two brown, like browns in the palette if you have lighter eyebrows, but for me, the darker one works pretty well. And then my favorite part is the lip. If you have a lip pencil, this works a little better, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going in with that red and this is just a eyebrow brush, a different one than the one I was using. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that eyeshadow on the lips. So what I would do is if you have a clear lip gloss, I don't. I have a 
ultra shine but you just kind of need to top the lip with that this is the Sephora ultra gel but you can definitely see like the pink underneath it but yeah that is a way that you can use your eyeshadows in different ways and kind of use it for a full face I did like you saw got a a BB cream, a concealer, and a gloss and eye primer. But that's so I can wear this like an everyday basis. But this honestly I think is one of my favorite looks to do. And it's just fun, a good way to use your different eyeshadows on a normal day basis. So thank you guys so much for watching. Check out these two videos if you haven't already from me. Be sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.